As a teenager, he was a world-class con artist who fled from authorities. Now, he's one of the most respected authorities on forgery. Frank Abagnale was in Fort Wayne today as the first of this season's Omnibus Lecture Series speakers. His life inspired the Steven Spielberg movie, Catch Me If You Can. News Channel 15's Tony Sandlaben spoke to Abagnale today and joins us now with the message he is hoping to spread. Tony? Well, Dirk and Tara, Abagnale spoke about the importance of cybersecurity. He also says he is grateful that he lives in a country that gives people the opportunity to turn their lives around. He hopes people listened to his speech today and walked away more appreciative of second chances. I think there's a, a message in the talk uh, that I think people will talk, walk away with uh, about being able to redeem your life and redemption and starting your life over. This is Frank Abagnale today. Years ago, he flew one million miles, boarded 260 aircraft in 26 different countries as a complete fraud. He spent time behind bars in three different countries. He now works for the FBI for no pay and has for the last 42 years. Of course, they always offer, I'll pay your airfare, I'll pay your hotel. I, I don't accept it. I don't need, need to. And it's my way of paying back uh, my government for giving me the opportunities it's given me. Those opportunities are why Abagnale wants to send a message of redemption. He is more proud of his life after he got out of prison than before. So it's kind of amazing to me when people look back at my life, I'm 70. Uh, they're amazed at what I did between 16 and 21. I at 70 look back on my life and absolutely amazed at what happened to my life after that. I've been married to my one and only wife for 40 plus years. I have three great sons, five grandchildren. Abagnale says identity security is even more important today than it was when he was a teenager. It's uh, actually 4,000 times easier to do today than what I did 50 years ago. I didn't have all the technology that's available today. Abagnale has declined three different presidential pardons. He's flattered when people call him a genius, but says a genius wouldn't have felt the need to break the law. In Studio 15, Tony Sandlaben, News Channel 15.